To make your zipper last, it's really important to keep it as clean as possible. So what I like to do, I'm getting ready, ready to unload this boat here. And even though uh, we're on the sandy beach, all these sand grains are things that could get caught between the teeth of uh, the zipper and mess things up. So I'm um, picking a nice clean spot in the rocks to deal with my boat. One of the basic things about zipper care is making sure that you, all, you always pull the zipper pull in line with the zipper and open and close the zipper slowly. Sweet. Okay, so now my boat is totally loaded. I'm ready to close the zipper. One thing, when I was loading my bags into here, I was really careful that I banged all the sand off of them because that's a really great opportunity to introduce sand into the teeth here. I had my zipper the whole time in a nice clean place. I cleaned up my bags before I put them in there. Now I'm ready to close the zipper. I'm going to do a quick little visual check for sand grains in between the teeth before I close it. pretty good so I'm ready to pull in line and slowly close the zipper then make sure it's properly seated at the top of the zipper sweet now I'm ready to inflate another thing you can do to keep your zipper as clean as possible is put some thought into where you're going to store your boat for the night. Rather than having it in the sand, I've chosen to keep it on these rocks right here, which is a little bit cleaner. Also, I like to close my zipper. Once I've unloaded it, I close my zipper, and that minimizes the chances that, you know, if I drop some sand on the boat or it gets windy around here and sand starts blowing around, it minimizes the opportunity for sand grains to get in between the teeth of the zipper. All right, well, we're back in town now. It's time to lube the zipper on this thing. And so your boat came with a little tube of this T-zip lube. Uh, this is the best step you can use. There are other alternatives which we'll talk about, but it's pretty easy to lube the zipper. I like to make sure that everything around it is pretty clean. And then I'm gonna start up at the top here and just put a little bead at the top And I'm going to put a little bead on the inside at that crescent shaped part where the zipper ends. Then, oh, maybe like uh, every 10 centimeters or so, I'm going to put a little bit right into these zipper teeth. Boom. Boom. Cool. So that's as much lube as we're going to need. And now to finish it off, we are going to close and open the zipper 10 times. I'm not going to do that right now, but imagine if I did. So you'll do that 10 times, and then what you'll notice is uh, some of this lube, uh, there's going to be excess lube on the outside of the zipper. Oh, here comes my little helper. And I'm going to take a rag and clean that lube off because that's just going to attract sand and dirt. Uh, if you don't have the tea lube, improvise. Get some chapstick. Lube it up with some chapstick. Um, I like to lube my boat up maybe every couple of trips just to be proactive. You can probably go a lot longer than that but uh, I like to be careful. If you're ever having a zipper issue where uh, the zipper is jumping teeth, then I would open up your zipper. Your first step should be to lube it really well, and, uh, and oftentimes uh, that'll solve the problem. So keep that zipper lubed.